while we are mining, we will rehabilitate the environment, install renewable energy facility, plus other improvements that will sustain the land and its communities for a long time. We will process this waste profitably for the benefit of all stakeholders, injecting over two and a half billion into the local economy and creating over a thousand jobs directly and indirectly for more than 20 years. This is what it's all about, leaving a positive legacy for future generations. With this, I can truly say Pan-African Resources is here and we are mining for the future. In terms of the, the DMR, I think for those that are not aware, DMR is, which will soon be DMRP for March next year due to the reshuffling. <clears throat> so we'll only be, we'll, in future, we'll be responsible for also the petroleum. So unfortunately, energy that is forming issues of load shading will unfortunately not be our responsibility for much going forward. So you'll know who to blame when you are having issues of load shading going forward. <clears throat> so of, from our section, uh, in terms of the region, the support that we're going to be offering in terms of support is in the form of, in terms of the inspectorate, as I said, don't look at us as the regulator. First look at us as the support structure to say, if you're not sure how you need to be regulated, I always say to my safety department that we have interacted recently that if you're not sure, you ask the regulator, then you'll know how best they're going to regulate you. Because if you don't ask, you won't know what is the expectation from the regulator from yourselves. <clears throat> so in that regard, we have a mine health and safety inspectorate, which consists of a medical inspectorate section. We also have a mine equipment inspectorate, which is represented by myself. <clears throat> and we also have our mining colleagues that are in our midst that are dealing with mining related issues. Then we also have an occupational hygiene inspector that is also part of that support system. <clears throat> then my other counterparts colleagues is a section called mineral regulation that will give you a headache in terms of your environmental issues, <laughs> your SLPs, which is your social labor plans. <clears throat> so as I said, those colleagues, if you're not sure how best to assist the community in terms of your social responsibilities, the colleagues in the region that are supposed to assist you and guide you in terms of how to deal with that social responsibility angle. <clears throat> Also, while we are on that, those inspector rates, there's also <clears throat> inspectors that are dealing with environmental issues. I think you've also heard of the NEMA Act. So there's colleagues that are <clears throat> will be able to, to give you support in that regard. So that is our DMR in a nutshell. So within also our, our inspector rate, there's also an issue called the um, that we're supporting your growth in terms of the employees that will need to be trained and certificated in, in the number of qualifications, which works directly with our mining qualifications authority. <clears throat> so, as I said, those colleagues that I mentioned in terms of the social labor, they'll be best suited in terms of assisting to say that if you're going to be training or assisting upcoming employees in the area, like, how best to, to deal with that fund like, in term, going forward. So as the DMR, <clears throat> you said again, welcome to the region. From a safety perspective, there's been over one and a half million man hours spent in construction on this site with zero LTRs. And I don't think that is achievable. <laughs> That is a massive achievement, but it's, but it's not achievable without all the people that worked on the site buying in to the safety awareness programs and following the rules that was laid down. So well done to everybody involved, and thank you very, very much from our side for your commitment to safety. Thank you. Right, then the schedule, which is a, which is a big driver on projects. Um, 
contractually SCS Bateman um, was to deliver this project to coal commissioning stage by the middle of October. Hopefully um, reaching this milestone early today of um, even further than coal commissioning being able to put all through the plant um, in early October is a massive achievement. And um, the, the timeline to start off with was very tight, but well done to all the dedicated people that were committed to making that achievement. Thank you very, very much. We recommended that we go on an EPCM contracting uh, structure to implement um, uh, the project using the team that has, it, that has built BTRP, ETRP, and Elukulu. Just that um, uh, uh, decision alone, that has saved us about 300 million rands because the original um, uh, budget figures that we got from the uh, EPC contractors uh, was 2.8 billion, and, uh, and, and that decision allowed us to reduce the, the, the budget for the project to about 2.5 billion rands. So that is just another il illustration of um, uh, how innovative uh, the team can be at Pan African Resources. The um, uh, uh, other um, uh, uh, point that we, we have made is the, the management of um, uh, security on site, um, because one of the biggest risks that was identified right at the beginning of the project was security. Obviously, this being a, an illegal mining zone, and, uh, and, and with the historical um, uh, illegal mining issues, um, we, we, we identified that as a major risk. And I, I will have to uh, take my head off for our um, uh, security personnel, um, uh, Dr. Lyle uh, Pinar uh, uh, and Heinz, for uh, all the work that they have done together with the local um, uh, SAP uh, um, uh, 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 departments, they have really done a great job to provide security on the site. We have not had any security incidents and they've managed the illegal mining, almost they've managed it out of the area completely. So, <laughs> it, 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 uh, uh, it, it really is a great achievement. And then the next one is that uh, we, we obviously had a luxury of uh, the, using the previous designs from BTRP and Elikulu. That has saved us a lot of time and that has saved us a lot of money as well uh, in those, uh, 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 using those designs. We, um, um, originally when we, we did the feasibility study, we, we looked at um, um, reviewing the, the location of the plant. We, have ident we had identified the plant um, just on the other side of the, of the dumps here, which was at Copano, and, uh, and we thought that was the proper site to, to, to place the plant. Later on, when we did um, uh, geotech, we really found some really challenging uh, founding conditions, which will have required uh, quite a lot of piling. And then um, the, the team was actually um, uh, quite creative and flexible, looked at the other side, identified this site that the geotech conditions is much better, and uh, we can move the, 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 the site here. Just that decision alone has saved us on both time and money. It has saved us quite a lot from, from a, a, a timing point of view, and it has saved us a, a, a quite a bit from, a, from a, a, a financial perspective. We, we, when we started here, we had our own challenges, uh, or, or, or this site had its own challenges. You can see the arrangement of the concrete um, that, that we, we unearthed as, um, as, 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 as we um, started on site. Uh, which was challenging, but the team uh, managed to uh, get around it and, and uh, it did not add any time uh, implication on the project. And then the CIL tanks were originally in the uh, uh, critical path. So um, we were concerned that um, to achieve the, 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 the schedule that we wanted to achieve, we needed to, we needed to manage the CIL tanks uh, installation quite well. And then we, we then contracted Betterect. Betterect are actually a local Krugersdorp uh, company. They are based here in Krugersdorp. We contracted them to, to, um, uh, to construct the CIL tanks. 
And one of the things that they came up with was to actually do a bolted design, which uh, um, uh, uh, it saved us quite a lot of time. It almost took the CL tanks out of the critical path by making that decision. So um, uh, it was, again, another innovative uh, um, um, you know, step that we took in the project. We, we were then um, uh, concerned that uh, there's potentially going to be leaks on the flanges, and, uh, and when we started, they, they, they came up with another uh, modification to their design to, to ensure that we don't have that, and we actually started out the CILs without a single leak. So that's a, that's a great achievement on the, on, the, on, the, on the project. And then we also piggyback on the uh, bright alloys uh, power supply infrastructure because power supply was, a, was quite a bit of a challenge, and uh, there's uh, bright alloys here. Uh, we piggybacked on, on them. We're currently supplying uh, our power from, from their, their infrastructure there. And uh, the uh, other point is the approval of the environmental license by the DMRE. I cannot stress the importance of this, is that uh, for us to start construction here, we needed our environmental license to be, um, uh, to be approved. And the DMRE really came up and approved our license um, uh, well on the, on the timelines that uh, uh, we had agreed on. So thank you very much to the, to the, to the DMRE. And then the, the last point that I want to um, uh, uh, take is that um, uh, we, we actually then split the acquisition of the electrical cables from the electrical uh, contractor scope. So generally, the electrical contractor, when they come to uh, do the construction, they come with their own cables. And, uh, and we managed to negotiate because we felt that by doing that, if we split the, the, the cables, we'll be able to acquire them much quicker from our side. And then, and then it will also save us on, 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 on uh, some cost as well. And, we, and after we split that, we actually managed to, uh, from, a, from an acquisition perspective, we, we like save it uh, about a week or so. And then from the cost, we, we also saved uh, quite a bit of money as well. So these are some of the highlights that I, I just wanted to share um, uh, with everyone on uh, uh, um, factors that actually contributed to us um, uh, achieving uh, um, uh, or, or having such uh, distinguished achievement uh, in this particular project.